Hi everyone, I'm Catholic artist John McCoy working for the New Evangelization on a 6 by 15 foot mural depicting seven saints for St. Dominic Parish, which is now part of Shrine of St. Francis Xavier and Our Lady of Guadalupe in the Diocese of Grand Rapids, Michigan. This is part two of the painting process videos for the St. Dominic's mural. Um, and in part two, I am really just refining the mural in, in every sense of that, working on different areas, going around, working on faces, working on feet, working on the clouds. Uh, I impl implemented a lot of different painting techniques. My, my painting techniques are very diverse, uh, using a sponge at one point, using brushes predominantly for the rest of the painting process. I do use brushes most of the time, but um, sponges are very nice for the clouds. Um, and I really, the, the subtle touch, you can kind of see that come together. Um, and I thought I would talk a little bit about symbolism for the painting, um, which is something I've not talked about yet. Um, but the, the clouds you're, you're beginning to see take the shape of an M which is for Mary. Mary is the cornerstone of the painting. The, the Queen of Heaven is um, kind of the, the caretaker and, you know, source of inspiration and, and, and guiding these saints to Jesus. Um, and of course, I've not worked on it just yet, but the, the womb of Mary is going to be, have a lot of lumin, luminous qualities to it. Um, that she is pregnant with the child Jesus in the appearing to um, St. Juan Diego. The other saints, I'm beginning to work on the faces. I am refining. You can see that St. Dominic's face is um, completely finished and some of the other parts of the mural are completely finished but there are parts in between that are not finished and it's just sort of bouncing it around, keeping the whole thing coming together. Um, and that's, it's important for me to see the overall painting coming together uh, and not just staying in one area, but, but moving around. And, and, and I've mentioned this before in other painting process videos, it's important for me to be led by the Holy Spirit and um, prayerfully considering what parts of the painting to paint on certain days does tie in with my prayer life and what I'm going through. Uh, just an example would be that my mom sent me a text of some clouds that had my name in it. <laughs> she saw those. If anyone else saw those, uh, they would have to be really looking into the painting, it, it, into the photo for my name in those clouds because they were difficult to see. But once you knew that she had pointed, you know, once she pointed those out, it was familiar. But anyways, I took that as a sign to begin working on the clouds. And I did work on the clouds and it was a very productive day. So just little things like that, following in prayer, um, trying to talk to God and, and, and listen to God. And, and just that's what prayer is. So I'm praying to see what, what I should be working on next as this is a very uh, holy process. This is, and I'm not saying I'm holy or, you know, any of that stuff. I'm saying that this is a sacred process in the sense that God is working through me if I am humble enough to be receptive to what he wants to say through this painting, which I intend to be and I hope to be. Um, I, an interesting thing about the M is that this is maybe something that can be seen later, but there is actually a M of light. Maybe I'll attach a picture or something here. But there's actually an M of light in the place where the painting will be installed. Now the lighting may change when the painting is there, but a parishioner told me um, that, that she saw this M as Mary watching over um, and, got, and leading us to Jesus. Which is interesting because unbeknownst to me, I had not known about that. Um, and I decided to put this M in there. Uh, if you lined up the painting with the wall, it does match that M almost perfectly. So it's just another little interesting thing. And God's always working through um, interactions with people and prayer and just the painting process itself as a vessel for the Holy Spirit to speak to me. Uh, I was inspired to create that M, that it arches over the saints and embraces them. 
Now, um, another example that I'd like to share is I was praying the Divine Mercy Chaplet, and I, and I have um, direct, a direct uh, access to the Eucharist here. Um, so I can, I can pray in front of the tabernacle. And I went to pray, and I thought, hey, I'll get my cell phone because I don't know the start of the prayer. Um, and as soon as I got up from the kneeler, a prayer book popped out, and I was like, oh, oh, I think I know what this means. So I opened it up, and I found the Divine Mercy Chaplet. And just little ways God has been working through my prayer, my attempts to pray, because it's very difficult to pray. Um, and always, I'm, as I'm rendering this, that's, it's a very quiet process. I'm speaking to God. God's speaking to me, and that is what prayer is. I'm not saying I actually hear God's voice outside my body or like through my ears, but I am hearing gentle whisperings of um, my conscience telling me what to do, uh, inspiration itself, of what I want to paint, what, what strikes me as beautiful, and, and, and the little things I see each day that influence the painting. And, you know, for instance, I'm up here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I took a trip to the Saga Tuck Dunes, which were only a 40-minute or 45-minute drive from downtown Grand Rapids. And it influenced, I saw the dunes in, it in, 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 the, in Lake Michigan, and it influenced my visual perception um, of water, bodies of water and shorelines in, in, for St. Francis Xavier on the, the right of the composition. You know, of course, St. Francis Xavier did a lot of missionary work. He traveled all over the, all over the world, more or less. And um, so there's a boat and there are figures representing people he converted to Christianity. Um, so he was a missionary. But there's so many little things. And I, a fun little thing, we start this video with the, the lamb, painting the lamb. Um, Father Jose, the, the pastor of these parishes, um, added, asked me to add the lamb in there as a reference to the martyrdom of St. Jose Sanchez del Rio, which I worked on his face a little bit too. So uh, thank you for watching. This is um, an incredible experience as most of my projects are, but always in unique ways. Um, God is always speaking to me in new ways and in, in a new sort of vision of what he wants me to see in the particular moments of each day and in the painting process. And no painting I've ever worked on is actually the same as far as my particular life point and that particular aesthetic that is coming through life's experiences and through prayer and is working its way into the painting. Um, a lot of art is, is like that, where the, the artist takes inspiration from the world around them, and I'm no different. I am an artist, and I am inspired by my interactions with people through prayer, through um, just little things I see in the interactions of sunlight on buildings, on people's faces, the joy I see in people's faces, uh, the troubles I see people go through. All of these things work their way into the painting. And I do believe that everything I experience in Grand Rapids here as I'm working on this painting is placed before me and I am meant to experience it and to be a part of the life of these people that I'm encountering particularly at particular times that it would be a, a source or way that the Holy Spirit can speak to me as I paint this painting. Thank you for watching this video. Um, it's, it's always a joy to share my talents with other people and I'm so blessed to be up here uh, in Grand Rapids, Michigan working on this very large mural painting. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I am always releasing new content similar to this project, but there's going to be new projects as well. So God bless you guys. Have a wonderful day. And I forgot, I almost forgot to mention, happy All Hallows Eve. That's right. It's Halloween today, and it is the Eve of All Saints Day. So God bless you guys.